assalamu alaikum today i will tell you a program which will be uh, based on client server i will use uh, netbeans there are lots of uh, id available uh, like uh, eclipse j creator but i will use a netbeans uh, okay we will open netbeans it will take some times no problem here you up uh, new project options we can choose or we can go file options and we can choose new projects or we can choose here with java application now we'll write here project name i am writing client but here some error because it's already st stored because we'll choose different loca different uh, location and uh, name also and i'm writing uh, client shock is now okay st has taken uh, here is the the code window i will write code here for the client okay here i will uh, use the try catch block for this client programs i will use the try catch block in the try try block i will write the codes for the socket that will use the in client server okay here is the socket and this is a socket and the socket variable will call it by a new operator that's used in the op call for object will pass the local host and uh, port that's a parameter okay, port number i is showing the error because uh, i did not import it the java socket socket library file you know, i will show i will import the java socket library files or you can write uh, or you can uh, click on the uh, error button now we'll write print stream it's uh, used to send the data which we will use the data we will send the it in the server okay we'll pass the parameter shock variable name and uh, get uh, output stream okay. here is showing error because it not did not imported the library file Okay, I will import after the writing system out dot print. I use this for the show something in the output window for the easiness of the user. Enter something. It will show the output window. <coughs> okay, I will import this for the print system library file. Okay, now I'll. Uh, I will send the data by the input stream variable. Input stream reader. It's a byte of a stream which can be used uh, for the stream of da data. This is a code for input stream reader. I will pass the parameter for the input stream reader system dot in. Okay, I will now write buffer ed reader is the buffer class. Similarly, input stream reader, I will use the buffer ed variable and new operator for the object calling. Now, we will pass the input stream variable inside the buffer reader. Easy. Now, I will import this as usually. On click of the error button, A spelling mistake. Oh, got it. Uh, I will use the I statement for the send the data. It will use to send the data, which will be in the PR socket. It will send the all the data in the server class. Then I will use server class up select project we'll write here a uh, server name project name any one name you can choose but it should be different okay finish new window for the server socket i will write here code for the server socket similarly likewise uh, client i written already here i will use the server socket the try catch block for the accepting the data which will be 
which will come from the client cache exception handler exception ex variable okay, I will write the code in inside the type cache try block server socket and variable name new operator for the calling of object server socket and I will pass the parameter to the port number only yeah socket name for the accepting the data variable name for the socket it will be accept the data for the server side by the server socket okay I will pass the okay <coughs> now I will use the buffer for the accept data which will which will be stored okay buffer read reader yeah. spelling mistake yes I will pass the parameter and call the object name and put a stream reader I can write it separately but I will write it inside the parameter no problem both are the similar likewise you have seen in the client server I written both are the separately but I am writing here inside the buffer read reader I am passing the parameters it uh, will work similarly spelling mistake I think no 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 so, library file okay now I will receive the data ins inside the string variable which will be a temp uh, ed by this statement read line ok here we go now I will show output which will come from the client side I will show the output by temp which will be in temp variable it will be shown in the output window here you go this for output I am writing here for the well understanding of the user as we need plus yes ok got ok here you go first I will run the server socket we need to run for server server then uh, need to run client first I will run the server ok here we go you will see output the client and server okay. we line run the first server then client the client asking the enter something but is not taking not accepting the something something problem something problem we are not taking oh I forgot to write the read line statement ok here we got yes I will take the string variable and just like I scan up which we use the in this C language just uh, for the taking taking input from the variable from the keyboard sorry similarly I will pass the temp variable and it will, it will send to the server ok now we will check again the output client now run yes now asking the value I will type here hey can see here yes we got this output shown you can see here output shown now if you wanna if you wanna give a acknowledgement to client from this server uh, I receive something then you can uh, acknowledgement to the client before because client don't know uh, I send message, send message, he still uh, reached out no, or not, then you can 
send uh, the acknowledgement by the writing this code. I am writing this code. You can see here uh, print stream as usual. I written in. I have written in the client socket for the receiving the input. I will write here also imports similarly, and it 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 used for the send data to any other client or server. Okay, I am writing here. Will pass the param. Sorry. Okay, I'm slicing. In temp variable error. Why? Because I used two times TMP variable, and I need to differentiate it. Okay, got it. Printlen. Okay, I will pass this tr in this printer parameter. Yes. Now we have to receive which will come from from the server socket. What will be right? Buffer ed reader. Similarly, add. Has written I already in the server socket. You have seen already the free reader inside the buffer reader. I will pass the input stream reader. I can write it separately, but I will write here inside the buffer reader. It will work both similarly. The input stream reader. Okay. Reader. Uh, I I oh yes I got I have to differentiate it okay now we'll uh, see the data by the string variable why a string variable because uh, data is the string type string input string reader that's why I store in TM variable. Read line. Yes. Now we will print the output, which will come from the uh, server side. Likewise, previous time we have seen similarly. Okay. Now it's time to run the program. Yes, no client. Yes, asking the input something. Write here, hello, how are you? Yes, press the enter button. Yes, yes, I've got it. Hello, how are you? Client output, server output. Yes, done it. Now the code I used, you can see again. It is a very simple, but you have to specify the socket. And in the server, server side, uh, we'll need to write uh, server socket and port ID only. Port ID 